Today I'll be doing a review on Blender sunglasses. I got a couple pairs here. I have a polarized one and a non-polarized. They're also different sizes too, and they come in at a different price range. So let's take a look at the polarized ones first. This is the L Series Black Ice. Sells for $40. This one's polarized. And the size on this one is a medium to large. The medium to large is 55 millimeters across. The arm is 140 millimeters. And the bridge right here is 16 millimeters. Even though this is the medium to large, they still fit a little small. If you have a bigger face, they don't go all the way to the side. I'll com compare these to my Oakley Garage series. As you can see, the size difference there. I do like the look of these. The polarized lens is really clear. I mean, for $40, you can't beat that. I mean, Oakley, you're looking at probably $140 at least for polarized lenses. So the price, the look, the feel of the glasses, I definitely like it for $40. This is the K-Series Aqua Lounge. It's a small to medium, so it's even smaller than those polarized ones we just looked at. This one going across the lens is 100, 139 millimeters on the small to medium. The medium to large was 143 millimeters across, so a little smaller there. The length of the arm, 135 on this one, that polarized one was 140. So the arms aren't gonna go back as far. And the bridge across here, 14 millimeters. I like the look of these, I like the color. The lens, it's a gold lens. The body is called a citrus blue. But looking through, even though it's a gold lens, when you look around, it makes everything a bluish tint. I like these, but as you can tell, much smaller on the face. These are probably more for a smaller a kid maybe a woman or even a guy that if you have a small face maybe you can wear these ones so this is the small to medium let's go back to the polarized ones the medium to large for me I think they need a large to extra large I have a wider face even these ones so the medium to large small to medium and then compare that to my Oakleys. So these ones were only $20. Again, if these were bigger, I'd like them a lot more. I mean, but for $20, you can't beat it. Like I said, if you have a smaller face, I think you'll be happy with these. Again, these are blenders. I came across these on Instagram. It was one of those Instagram ads that pops up. They have many other colors. Just make sure when you're getting them, don't just pick by color. Look at the size and take that in consideration when you buy these. So these ones were 20. The polarized were 40. They, uh, they have other non-polarized ones on the website going for about $35. And they have different styles. They have uh, the aviators and they have ones that have no frame at all, where it's just all lens. Again, these are the Aqua Lounge. This is the black ice, $40, $20. I mean, you can't beat that for the price. If you lose them, you scratch them, you just go ahead and buy another pair. It's not as big of a deal than investing, say, over $100 for a pair of Oakleys. Not saying if you're an Oakley fan and that's all you wear, you're gonna be happy with these. You're probably gonna stick with those. But if you're just looking for a cheaper, good looking pair of glasses, even polarized ones, that make everything super clear, you'll be happy with the blender sunglasses.